and build integrate in so basically what we're trying to understand is that you're not trying to actually have many different loose parts so you've got too many loose connections and everywhere you know people trying to say this do this do that then it's bound to fail instead of that just have a cohesive working unit and then when you develop something and deliver it you actually got these small things working already that's where the regression testing the automation testing is so important in agile context regression testing uh, integration testing automation testing these are critical and that's why i keep telling you, you know, going back to what we've been talking all along with agile software it's about continuous development and when you when you try and develop continuously what needs to be done next you need to integrate continuously so the continuous integration and once you develop and integrate continuously what can be done easily continuous delivery so continuous development continuous integration and continuous delivery this is basically the mantra of uh, agile software development whether it is scrum kanban lean dsdm whatever it is you know xp doesn't matter end of the day it's all about this specific aspect of how you can try and you know integrate the the the, the parts together and and ship them as one unit and that's where it is really important you can try and you know things look at things and work at things individually but you need to see the big picture see the whole it's, it's the whole there is twice i mean it's not just the w h o l e but also sometimes you need to see the whole if there is a c like for example in my kayak if i am trying to you know row my kayak and then i see that it's getting heavier and heavier and um, uh, i'm not able to actually kind of row wherever i want i want to turn left it's not turning because it's, suddenly it, i i feel that it's getting heavy you know why because there's a small hole within the bottom of the kayak and it's actually the water is seeping in it's actually filling up the kayak very much so i need to see the hole in the kayak as well as well as i need to see the big picture of where i am right so i'm not i should not go into some uh, you know some place where it is actually taking me to uh, a completely different direction or i should not go hit a a boat coming in a speedboat coming in all of these are important within the context of that see the whole as a principle so see the big picture if you do not get the big picture you would never go anywhere near the the the, the development of or the delivery of your value and eliminate waste this is actually the last but not the least very 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 fundamental aspect of uh, lean um eliminate waste so first identify waste where it is and we are going to talk about waste and how how you need to do what kind of waste are there in software development we'll have a look at it in the next few slides so very important eliminate waste wherever you see first identify where the waste is whether it is in the processes whether it is in the in the workflow whether it is in the in the softwares whether it's in the uh, for example the handoffs happening between the people as i discussed in the software development for example the developers are trying to create a build they are trying to push it onto the uh, the test environment the testers are just waiting for it when, when is the build coming when is the build coming they just keep waiting and waiting so there's a lot of time waste by the testers because uh, they are just waiting for the build to come through from the development team so essentially that's a huge waste of for example if there is a testing team of about 5 people who are waiting for the build to come in so they can start testing that uh, that is multiplied by so many days right so 5 multiplied by let's say there is a a one month delay of the project so that would lead to a significant waste of resources so you need to identify how you can structure this how you can actually kind of feed the testing team with enough work initially just so that they don't have to keep waiting for the build to come so we need to think about all those different aspects and come up with solutions that would help the development team and the uh, the whole of the team not just the testing team but the team to work in tandem to work in uh, a collaborative manner